everybody. Good morning. Top of the morning to you. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Amen. Hey, welcome. Welcome once again to our humble little dining room where we have once again transformed our dining room table into a table where you are welcome to come and pull up a seat and be at our table with us. And again, I've said I've said this like every time we do this. I always say this. This is not a production. <laughs> and and uh, we are just trying to help the cool hip peeps who um, we can't go to church right now because we're all sheltering in place mm -hmm. and trying to mitigate this COVID-19 thing. We so we, we can't be in our churches. And so we just wanted to do something to bless you and make you feel still connected to the body of Jesus Christ. So that's what we're going to do this morning. We welcome you. Uh, like we said, this is our dining room table. Pull up a chair. Pull up a get chair. Get a drink out of the fridge. You're get totally your coffee. Um, grab your Bible if you want to. Uh, and just join us because we're just going to worship the Lord and celebrate uh, the resurrection in the best way that we can from our dining room table. Together. <laughs> yes, together. We're all together, right? We're in this. Together. Together. <laughs> God bless you. All right. Well, let's get started because we don't want to keep you all day. Some of you are probably fixing big lunches and and excited to get around the family and maybe... Safely. Safely, of course, uh, with those that you're currently sheltering in place with. Indeed. Um, maybe uh, putting some resurrection eggs around the house or if you have a backyard and mm -hmm. you can do that mm -hmm. uh, for the children. But uh, God bless you guys. God bless you. All right. Well, let's get started. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts and hearts of your people by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. You, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. 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 All right, let's sing a song. Can we do that? Yeah. We can. This one is, uh, this is called, very simply, what we're all doing right now. We're celebrating and we're celebrating Jesus. That's what this one's called. Celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate, 
One more time, sing it with me. Bless you guys. The Lord is risen. Man, hallelujah. We haven't said hallelujah in so long. It's good to say. It's been a good 40 days or so. Hey, let's try it all together on three. One, two, three. Hallelujah. Man, that's a good thing to say. I love it. I hope you guys are feeling good this morning. I had to resurrect my look because it's Easter. I know y'all thought that I forgot how to put makeup on. <laughs> oh, I didn't forget. Oh, I know you. I didn't, didn't forget. forget. Well, God bless you guys. God bless you. Privileged to have you. And uh, let's go ahead and let's continue on and let's worship the Lord on this beautiful uh, Easter resurrection morning. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's pray the collect of the day together. The Lord be with you and God also you. with you. Let us pray. Almighty God. Through, who through your holy begotten Son, Jesus Christ, overcame death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life, grant that we who celebrate with joy the day of the Lord's resurrection may be raised from the death of sin by your life-giving Spirit. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 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 I'm going to ask Donnie to come and uh, do our reading and our psalm for today. The reading today is from Acts 10, 34 through 43. Then Peter began to speak to them. I truly understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John announced. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. How he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree, but God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses, and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach and to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The psalm today is Psalm 118, verses 1 and 2, and 14 through 24. O give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. There are glad songs of victory in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. 
The Lord has punished me severely, but he did not give me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Matthew 28, 1 through 10. Glory to you, Lord Christ. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, For an angel of the Lord descended from heaven, approached, rolled back the stone, and sat upon it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing was white as snow. The guards were shaken with fear of him, and became like dead men. Then the angel said to the women in reply, Do not be afraid. I know that you are seeking Jesus, the crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has been raised from the dead, and he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. Then they went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce this to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Christ. The Lord is alive and risen. That's the message. The Lord is alive. And uh, what I wanted to just say to you today is, first, thank you for uh, hanging in with us. Um, It's been a long Lenten season, it seems like. And here we are now on Resurrection Sunday. Maybe a little longer Lenten season when you're trapped in the house with our beloveds. Um, But... The message for today is very simple. Jesus is alive. He's alive. He's not dead. That's I love that. One of the old translations says, Why seek ye the living among the dead? Jesus is not there. The tomb is empty. The grave is empty. And Jesus is alive. And that's what we're celebrating. Many people have asked me over the years, Why... Why Christian? Why not something else? Or, or why not just nothing? It's because the one difference about Christian is that we serve a risen Lord. The resurrection of Jesus Christ is as real as the nose on our face. He is alive. And people say, well, well prove that to me. And I always say this, if you want the best proof, the best proof in all of the world, 
And yes, we could spend time and we could talk about uh, all of the archaeology. We could talk about all the history. We could talk about extra biblical writings from uh, people like uh, Pliny the Younger and uh, Josephus and, and many other people that corroborate and verify this gospel story. But here's the greatest proof of all. Ask him, if you are alive, Lord Jesus Christ, then come into my heart and save me from my sins and be my Lord, be my Savior. Make me alive as you are alive. I always tell everybody that is the only proof that one will ever need because when you talk to him, he will talk back. And not just talk back. Because people say, well, uh, I have trouble hearing from the Lord. I don't always know if I'm hearing from the Lord or if it's just me thinking these things or if this comes somehow from my conscience or, you know, I'm not really sure. Well, here's the thing. Talking back is just one thing. He does more than just talk back. He does. He does. And if you invite him with a sincere heart to make his resurrection alive in your heart and in your life, he not only will respond to you, yes, but he will do what nothing else on the earth can do. He will enter into you and raise you from the spiritual dead. And you can be alive, alive like him. The grave is empty and Jesus is alive. And that's what they encountered. They went to the tomb to, to do their proper respects for the dead and they did not find the dead. Instead, they found him alive outside of the tomb, not just talking with them, but doing because the Bible says they fell at his feet and did him homage. I'm telling you, it's been said many times, people won't die for a lie. That's pretty much the case. But throughout the history of Mother Church, you will find men, women, and children that are willing to lay their life down for him. And they would not do so for a dead religion, but they do so because he is alive. And that's what we're celebrating today. Our Lord Jesus Christ is alive and he can be alive in you today. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. Would you join with me as we affirm our faith in the Nicene Creed? We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven by the Holy Spirit and became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scripture and ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Donnie's going to come and she's going to lead us uh, through our prayers.
uh, this morning, the prayers of the people. In peace, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. For the Holy Church of God, that it may be filled with truth and love and be found without fault at the day of your coming, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. mercy. For John, our presiding bishop, for Charles and Robert, our own bishops, for all bishops and other ministers, and for all of the holy people of God, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have, Lord, mercy. have mercy. For all who fear God and believe in you, Lord Christ, that our divisions may cease and that all may be one as you and the Father are one. We pray to you, O Lord, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For the mission of the church, that in faithful witness it may preach the gospel to the ends of the earth. We pray to you, O Lord, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For those who do not believe yet, and for those who have lost their faith, that they may receive the light of the gospel, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the world, that a spirit of respect and forbearance may grow among nations and peoples, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For those in positions of public trust, especially our government, that they may serve justice and promote the dignity and freedom of every person, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. For all who live and work in the community, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For a blessing upon all human labor and for the right use of the riches of creation, that the world may be freed from poverty, famine, and disaster, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For the poor, the persecuted, the sick, and all who suffer, for refugees, prisoners, and all who are in danger, that they may be relieved and protected. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For this congregation, that we may be delivered from hardness of heart and show forth your glory in all that we do, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For our enemies and those who wish us harm, and for all whom we have injured or offended, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For ourselves, for the forgiveness of our sins, and for the grace of the Holy Spirit to amend our lives, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who have commended themselves to our prayers, for our families, friends, and neighbors, that being freed from anxiety, they may live in joy, peace, and health. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For all who have died in the communion of your church and those whose faith is known to you alone, that with all the saints, they may have rest in that place where there is no pain or grief, but life eternal. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Rejoicing in the fellowship of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary and all of the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord, our God. For yours is the majesty, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Let us confess our sins to Almighty God. Mm -hmm. 
Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. Walk in love as Christ loved and gave himself for us, an offering and sacrifice to God. Amen. Well, let us exchange with those sheltered in place the sign of peace. Peace be with you. 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 Peace be with
take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in the sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension. We offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people, the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of the new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we now pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia! The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. The blood of Christ, the cup of salvation.
Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food and the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us through, uh, grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May the blessing of God be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us go forth into the world rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys so much. We want to do something really special for you. Can we do one really special thing uh, before we turn you loose and let you go about your Easter day? We wanted to uh, sing a song for you, an original song that's never been uh, recorded yet, and uh, it's brand new. And I'm reminded of the word, you know, the Lord is worthy of a new song, isn't he? Sing a new song unto the Lord. A song that hasn't been sang before. And we wanted to sing. Can we sing our new song for you guys today? Yes? I think that's a yes. All right. Then let it be done. All right, you guys ready for this? Brand new song. This one's called God Alone.
you guys <laughs> easter sunday resurrection sunday god be with you all we love you very much we love you so much spend time celebrating with your families today remember what today's all about if you have god in your life this is just like the quintessential beginning of what we're thankful for and if you don't have god in your life feel free to give him the same invitation he gave you and see how he works and moves in your life too amen Hey, we love you guys. Until next time, Cool Hip Priest. Peace out, Cool Hip Peeps.